When buying a home, it is really important to use a great lender, but it's surprising and even scary how often someone uses a bad lender. And the goal of this video is just to make sure that doesn't happen to you. Welcome to Keeping Mortgages Real, where we provide clear mortgage information so you can make better financial decisions. And by the way, if you have any questions mortgage related or need a pre-approval in Maryland, Virginia, or DC, feel free to reach out to me. I'm at 3easysteps.me, just spelled out like it sounds, 3easysteps.me. Okay, now let's get to bad lenders. The challenge with that is that by the time you realize you're using a bad lender, it's often too late to switch to a good lender. You're too far down the path but there's always warning signs. So our goal here today is to provide two red flags to look out for. And if you see either of these, just run the other direction and get a different lender. And then we're gonna tack on an additional tip that'll help make sure you're not using a bad lender as well. The first red flag is pressure. You should never feel pressured by your lender to use them, to lock an interest rate, or buy before you're comfortable buying. And the reason I mention that is that many times someone will be talking to a lender the first time and they feel pressure by this particular lender. And part of you just feels that this is how the process works and you'll have to comply to the lender's pressure because that's just how it is. And what I'm here to tell you is that is not the case. If a lender is pressuring you, they are not serving you. Good lenders do not put pressure. If you are getting pressured, run the other direction. That is a horrible sign. The second red flag is questions, meaning bad lenders don't ask many questions. Now, why is that important? Two things. One is that when you get, when you're looking to be pre-approved, you give the lender certain information, usually through an online form, and the lender issues a pre-approval based on that information. A good lender is going to ask you questions of clarification to really make sure they understand what you communicated to them so there's no surprises for you down the road. Bad lenders will just issue a pre-approval without asking any questions and down the road there's probably going to be some surprises or hiccups or worse because they just didn't take the time to understand where you're coming from. Even more so, second, is that a lender should ask you questions about your goals, your plans, your dreams. So not only they can give you like, yes, this is the ability you can purchase a home, but just share certain tips and tricks and other options that might actually help benefit you more than if they didn't take the time to understand your, your situation. So said differently, if a lender doesn't ask you questions, run the other direction, that's really, really a bad sign. Now let's cover a quick trick just to sort of another way to make sure that you are avoiding a bad lender. But before going there, if you have any questions mortgage related, again, feel free to re at, reach out to me at 3easysteps.me. That's 3easysteps.me. Okay, the final tip is if you're not using a recommendation of a friend or a realtor. So recommendations are the best way, or one of the best ways to smoke out a bad lender. But if you're not using a recommendation, definitely go online and look for bad reviews. Um, Almost everybody has good reviews posted on there, but what you want to look for is if there's a history of bad reviews, especially more recent bad reviews, that's a really bad sign as well. Okay, so let's recap. Ways to avoid a bad lender is number one, if you're feeling any pressure at all, run the other direction. Second is if they don't ask any or many questions to understand where you're coming from and understand your specific situation. Again, that's a really bad sign. And finally, look for any bad reviews online and that'll help avoid bad lenders as well. Next week, we're actually going to talk to how to pick a good lender, but hopefully this is helpful, at least avoiding the bad ones. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at 3easysteps.me and I hope you're having a great day. Thanks. Take care.